We're with our good buddy Chris Sims, joins us from NBC Sports. Uh, all right, Chris, now we're going to talk about the whole Bengal video gate thing again. I'm just so tired of this. What's your take on it? Patriots had a production team filming a documentary, taped the Bengal sideline. Do you blame Belichick at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, no, I don't blame Belichick at all. The, the football side of this has nothing to do with any of this. First off, who's ever in charge of the video department over there, they're an idiot. That's just, for lack of a better phrase, that's all I can say. All right? And, you know, Bill Belichick, let's talk about this. I mean, this is one of the smartest human beings I've ever been around, and I think a lot of people would say that. Do you think he's going to send some guy or guys that are wearing New England uh, clothes and a credentialed New England people and trust them to do something like that and bring back all the answers and all that. That doesn't, that doesn't even match up. That's insane. You know, so no, I put no stock into this whatsoever. Uh, you know, again, New England doesn't cheat. New England outcompetes, out details every team in football every year, all year long. They haven't been lucky for 20 years. It's, it's just they're better, and that's all there is to it, and people just need to get over it. Well, we know that you hate Tom Brady, Chris. I do not hate Tom Brady. <laughs> Why do I? I think he's the third greatest quarterback of all time. I like Tom Brady, I promise you. I just try to fight back against narratives at time, okay? When people want to tell me Tom Brady's like the, still the three greatest quarterbacks in the game right now, I can't help it. I got to fight back against that narrative. I still think he's very good. I, I, I don't hate Tom Brady. Don't say that. I just want to know what happens at the Sims household is... Phil Sims better than Tom Brady, or how does the Brady? Never mind. I won't no, put you, I won't, no, no. Okay. Phil Sims ain't better than Tom Brady, okay? <laughs> okay? And that would be my example of what I talk about with rings sometimes. I mean, is Phil Sims better than Dan Marino because my dad has a Super Bowl ring and MVP? Absolutely not. Absolutely freaking not. You know, is Eli Manning better than Brett Favre because he has one more Super Bowl ring? Absolutely freaking not. That's all I'm arguing. Tom Brady's still amazing to me. He's amazing. I, I really, I idolize Tom Brady. I really do. All right, you're out of the will. Okay, so is Brady the problem <laughs> or the receivers? Uh, oh, it, it's a lot of everything. Uh, you know, the receivers are certainly to blame. There's no doubt about that. You know, you got young guys, new guys in Muhammad Sanu. You know, there's no Gronk, okay? There's, so there's no tight end factor like there used to be. The O-line's not good. I mean, come on. The tackles can't protect Tom Brady. The running game's not as dominant. And then Tom is 42. Tom's not as great as he used to be either. And if there was only one thing I would say about Tom, because the arm is still top-notch, decision-making's top-notch. Is he a little flinchy in the pocket at 42 years old at times? Yes, that would be the one thing I would say is the knock on Tom Brady. But this is not just him. This is a collective issue with the, with the whole unit. How would you fix the Patriots offense? Well, I, you know, I don't know if, like, to me this year, it's not going to be fixable to where we're going to go into the playoffs and go, oh, they're rolling. Here we go. Watch out. The, the, you know, New England and Brady and the offense is really going. No, I just think they need to get to a point to where they're consistent and respectable because the defense is special. And like I've heard Brady say many times, this year's team is about the defense and special teams. They just need to be, you know, manage the game the right way and be a little bit better than what they are and I think that'll happen I mean McDaniels Belichick they're as smart as they come they'll tinker with the formula Muhammad Sanu is still learning this offense this offense is hard it's like hieroglyphics from anything he's ever been in you know so he's learning that Nikhil Harry's new to the group I think he'll get better and better as we go forward and uh, you know hopefully uh, uh, Jacoby Myers can get better as well but I think they'll get better here but I don't think they're ever going to be like drop like like make our jaw drop to where we go oh man they're amazing this is like a totally different offense I don't think that happens this year. Okay, can this offense get this team to the Super Bowl, or will it be the reason they don't get to the Super Bowl? Oh, well, I, I think more of like they could be the reason they don't get to the Super Bowl. You know, I, I still think there's a very real chance that New England can get to the Super Bowl. There's no doubt about that. But, yes, can they be consistently good if you got to play the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens and do that again to where, you know, they can – put up more than 20 points I mean that question still remains but you know one thing I've learned is you don't doubt New England they will tinker and figure it out the right way to where I know that offense will be better uh, but hey the Ravens the Chiefs I think they're kind of hitting their stride and they're pretty damn good too all right Chris thanks a lot we'll talk to you next week all right buddy good talking to you see ya